how's it going? My name's John McLennan, and I hope you're having a great week. I'm here with GuitarControl.com, bringing you this video lesson. And we're looking at a classic today called Get Ready, originally by uh, Smokey Robinson. But we're uh, going to be looking at a live version by Rare Earth. And I'm going to break down all the guitar parts for you. We're going to learn that main riff, how to play during the verse, the chorus, and how some of the chords are embellished. And then, of course, the bridge as well. So be sure to click the link below so you can get the tab that goes along with this video lesson. It's really going to help you along the way so you can learn the whole song. All right, let's zoom in and break it down. Get Ready, originally by uh, Smokey Robinson, but we're looking at the Rare Earth version live. And uh, we start off, we've got some slightly distorted guitar tone. And we're going to play this riff, which sounds like this. So I'm up here, 3rd finger, 12th fret, 4th string. And I do two of those. Then you drop back a whole step to 10th fret, the 10th fret, and then back up to 12. It's like a little kind of just seesaw between those notes. Then back to 10. Two tens. So the first measure is one and two and three. And with my right hand, I like doing all down strokes, so I'm just going down, 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 and it just kind of has a real, like, uh, <laughs> hitting the nail right on the head kind of sound. I don't know, it's just really direct and uh, strong. Okay, the second measure goes 12, 12, 10, Okay, so we're just doing single notes there. Then we move to what's called double stops, which is where you hold down two notes at a time. And I'm doing that by taking my third finger and just sort of smushing it down at the 12th fret on the second and third strings. And then you go to 10 10. So. So the second measure is. And I might kind of just shake those notes a little bit. You can, you'll hear that all the time, like whether it's classic rock or the blues or uh, you know using that kind of riff, Jimi Hendrix. So. Basically, it would be, uh, you know, eighth notes, one and two and, and then that's tied. And then the and of three is when that comes in. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, okay? So if we put the first measure together with the second measure, which completes this intro riff, we get... these little eighth note rests in there like this one and two and rest and so the way I do that is I'm playing the note and then I just disengage by just lifting up and then I also mute with my right hand a lot of dampening going on just to keep the the riff tight you know when you play as far as your timing is incredibly important and then also when you let off the note is also really important to the feel.
Okay, and then we come in with sort of some power chords, and this is when the melody comes in. Never met a girl. Something like that on the melody. So what I would do is I would play these power chords, and I do it kind of weird. I use my first finger and my pinky. So I'm going to play the fifth fret on the fifth string. Then I'm going to reach up with my pinky and play the seventh fret on the fourth string. And you can use your first and third if you want. Either's cool. I'm just playing two notes. And the trick here is to dampen all the other strings so that uh, you know your sixth string is covered by your first finger here. It, it creeps up just enough. Because what I see all the time is people playing power chords and then they're not muting and then all these other notes are ringing on top instead of it sounding tight like this. Okay, so all I'm doing is relocating this shape around the guitar. So 5-7, I'm going to do two of those. Then I'm going to drop it down two frets then move back up. Just like this. Just like a riff, this is just like a power chord version of it. Okay, so one and two and, then I'm gonna drop down, C5, the third fret, fifth fret, do two of those, back up, Then I come up one string to three and five. This is a G power chord on the sixth string and the fifth string. And then I move down to one and three. So, so that, that second measure is one and two and three. And that's like this, which is actually part of a G chord, part of an F chord. Here's your G power chord, here's your F power chord. So it all comes together, it's, uh, it's a similar thing here, so. So measures one and two of the verse put together sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. So if I just play that into my looper pedal, you can hear what the melody sounds like on top of it. One, two, three, four. So yeah, that's a that's an attempt there at the melody. So uh, you can basically hear how that that rhythm part works underneath the song, and uh, that leads us to the chorus next. Nice work so far. Let's keep it up and jump into the chorus. We're gonna look at some big bar chord shapes here. Here we go. So for the chorus, we start out on an F bar chord. And you can just give a big whole note. One, two, three, four. And the way that I play that is one, three, three, two, one, one. Then 
then I move down to a B flat bar chord. And that's one, three, three, three. And sometimes I'll use my third finger, sometimes I'll use my pinky. Kind of just interchange those out. Uh, but for now, just pick one. Pick either your third finger or your pinky and stick with it until it's really comfortable. So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and it's a little lead in, third fret, or sorry, fifth fret, third fret. And then I, I hammer out a G minor chord, which is basically I'm using my thumb here, then skip a string, five, three, three, three. Okay, Jimi Hendrix style. Then a C bar chord, three, five, five, five. One, two. And there's a little kind of pickup in there of a cool little riff. Um, it comes off the C chord, so I'm going three, five, 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 and then you slide in with your third finger to the fifth fret, drop your first finger, play the third fret, five, pull off to three, then five. So, so we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three. goes again. So of course you can play any inversion of these chords that you like, you know, and you also don't have to do the little pickups and embellishments that I'm doing. Like the simplest way I would, could think of playing this would be like F2, 3, 4, B flat, 2, 3, 4, G minor bar chord, C, 2, 3, 4. And then the second time you come out of that C and you're back to the first part again, the power chord part, and you do another verse. So let's put it all together. Here is the chorus twice, or sorry, the chorus once, which is through that chord progression twice, and then we'll go back to the, uh, the main riff there. So here we go. One, two. Three, four. And then the last part of the song is the bridge. The last part of this tune is the bridge, and it does some cool rhythmic hits where the whole band hits certain chords on certain rhythms. I'm going to break it down for you. Here we go. So coming out of that saxophone solo, we're basically playing the main riff. And then from there you come up to a G major bar chord, which would be three, five, five, four, three. You can grab the high note if you want to, but it's a nice chord, just five strings, and then then you go to the A just by relocating that two frets higher. So G, A, G, A, G. Three times, then you go up one fret to the sixth fret. This is a B flat chord, and you go. And so that's one E and the two and the E, four. So uh, 16th notes, one E and the two, and then you play A, G, and then you're back to. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video lesson inspires you to keep practicing and learning more songs on guitar. It really is a lot of fun. 
And if you want more information, click on the annotation on your screen, or the iCard if you're on mobile. And you can check out some of the courses available from guitarcontrol.com. All right, well, I'm John McLennan. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video lesson.